Good morning. It's Tuesday, March 29th, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, The Soul's Free Fall, and our scripture is Psalm 53. Only fools say in their hearts there is no God. They are corrupt, and their actions are evil. Not one of them does good. God looks down from heaven on the entire human race. He looks to see if anyone is truly wise, if anyone seeks God. But no, all have turned away. All have become corrupt. No one does good, not a single one. Will those who do evil never learn? They eat up my people like bread and wouldn't think of praying to God. Terror will grip them, terror like they've never known before. God will scatter the bones of your enemies. You will put them to shame, for God has rejected them. Who will come from Mount Zion to rescue Israel? When God restores his people, Jacob will shout with joy, and Israel will rejoice. There are a lot of moving parts to this psalm, all processing in the same direction, downward. Note the movement and the sudden change. Fools ignore God and God's prior claim on our existence. God is watching, but doesn't prevent our corrupt choices. Evil turns abusive and arrogantly destroys the lives of others. The result of it all will be terror when God says, Enough of this. Those who have trusted in God will rejoice at the outcome of it all. One consistent thought that permeates this whole process is that those who choose evil prefer so and will never be content with worshiping God. Their interest lies only in the temporary self-gratifying conquest of what they can see and feel. Eternity is snubbed for a few fading perks. Watching all this play out would be humorous if it were not so tragic. It's a little like watching the bad guy in a B-movie. You know that guy, the one with the black hat and the thin mustache that's curled up at the ends? He's always tying up the beautiful heroine on the railroad tracks, and he leaves her there with a sneer and a laugh. Her fate is sealed. But you know the plot. The good guy with the white hat riding a white stallion swoops in and saves the girl just before the train comes. Then there's a fight, and the bad guy loses again. Question. Was this just a poor beginning of Steven Spielberg's movie producing career, or could it be Psalm 53 stuck in our DNA? Since the foundation of time, space, and eternity, God has known what we'd be up to here on planet Earth. He's told us in many ways and with every bit of creation's majesty to look to him. All else is, as Solomon would write in Ecclesiastes, vanity. And the psalmist would agree with Solomon. Evil leads to more evil. Ignoring God leads to increasing ignorance. And those who choose this pathway do not learn its painful lesson, nor do they care. And in the end... The judgment will be final, fatal, and fearsome. For you today, if you're tempted to question God's apparent lack of intervening in history and the pressing injustices of current times, or even why the bad guy got the promotion and you're still wondering how to pay this month's grocery bill, remember that the time is coming in His time. And the free fall of the soul is in God's hands. So don't do so much questioning of God. Lean more to trusting. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.